writing down the Xbox signation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So we are only about a week away from this fight. Undisputed versus Undisputed. Canelo versus the junior middleweight champion of the world, Charlo, Jamel Charlo that is. A lot of people are making their predictions, but Freddie Roach, he made a pretty bold prediction. Freddie believes the power of Jamel Charlo will be too much for Canelo Alvarez, particularly the left hook. Freddie Roach, he said about Jamel, he's mean and defiant, and better yet, he backs that attitude up with his talent. He cannot be intimidated. He has a great chin, and he doesn't get phased by getting hit. Charlo is downright vicious inside the ring. I think Charlo will have too much firepower for Canelo to handle, especially at the higher weight. Canelo needs to stay away from Charlo's left hook. The question is, can Canelo stay away from Charlo's left hook? I don't think he can, which is why I'm picking Charlo by stoppage. That's a very interesting prediction, especially coming from Freddie Roach. There is no doubt about it, Jamel Charlo's left hook is his most dangerous weapon. He can land that punch going forward, he can land that punch moving backwards, side to side, and whenever he lands it, it's extremely effective. Another major attribute that Charlo has is his stamina. He actually gets stronger almost in the later rounds. He's got a lot of his knockouts in the championship rounds. This is usually when Canelo Alvarez is getting tired, especially if he's fighting against someone who's really forcing him to punch more, throw more punches. That's what Bibble did. We don't know if Charlo is gonna be able to do that. We also don't know if Charlo's stamina is gonna be the same now that he's putting on so much weight. Now, when it comes to Canelo Alvarez, his best weapon is his natural size over Jamel Charlo. It doesn't matter how much weight Jamel Charlo gains. He's still a natural junior middleweight, and he's still gonna be getting hit by a natural super middleweight that has really good power. I mean, don't get me wrong. Freddie Roach, he might be right. Jamel Charlo may go in there and have even more power or just as much power as Canelo does. And if he does, Canelo is definitely in trouble. It's also very possible that it may take Jamal Charlo or Jamel Charlo five punches to do the damage that Canelo Alvarez one punch would do once again because of the weight disadvantage. To me, the weight jump is the only thing that makes this fight competitive. If it wasn't for the weight jump, if these guys were fighting naturally in the same weight class, I think this would be an easy win for Jamel Charlo. It makes it far more competitive, especially when it comes to making a prediction on the fight. We'll see how it plays out in about a week. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hi, we are NWA Connie Corso, and we're excited to share some exciting news with you all. We currently have seven adorable puppies who will soon be ready for their new homes. Our puppies are four weeks old now and are looking for loving families who can give them the care and attention they deserve. They will be fully vaccinated and have had all the necessary health checks to ensure that they are healthy and happy. We believe that our puppies are the perfect family pets as they are loving, friendly, and full of energy. They are also great with children and other animals, making them the perfect companions for everyone in the family. If you're interested in adopting one of our puppies, please note that we're currently limiting the number of families who can adopt to ensure that everyone can find the perfect puppy for themselves. We would love to see you at our breeder's yard to see our puppies up close and get to know them better. Don't wait any longer to bring home a happy, healthy, and loving puppy from our family. We can't wait to meet you and yours and create a special bond together. Thank you for considering our puppies for your next family member. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.